I'm going to show you how to enter questions into the Peerwise site. After you've logged in, you'll be brought to your home page. This is where you can choose what action it is you want to do. You can either view all of the questions you've contributed so far, you can view all the answered questions that you've answered so far, and you can have a look at all the questions you have not answered yet, either by listing all of the questions or just the questions of those people that you have chosen to follow. In this case, we want to write a new question. So we'll go to your questions. That will give the list of all the questions you've authored so far. If you want to create a new question, click on Create New Question. You'll see that there's a fairly complete text editor that comes along with this. It allows you to bold things, italicize things, underline things, use subscripts or superscripts. You can use bulleted lists or numbered lists. You have the ability to undo should you make a mistake or redo. You have a, a slight variation in fonts that can be used, although those are fairly set. You can insert or edit images. You can upload images. And there's a spell checker as well. So this is where you'd write the stem of the question. This is the part of the question that precedes the answer options. So that would be the stem of this question. As you scroll down, this is now where you'd list the potential alternate answers. You can choose up to five different answers. After you've entered, uh, entered all the possibilities, this is where you would select what is, in fact, the correct answer. Now, when writing the other alternatives, what are often called distractors, you want to use options that someone who does not have a good handle on the material may mistakenly choose. That is one of the things that indicates it's a good question. So you have the correct answer. You have some very good distractors. Scrolling down further now, this is where you would enter the explanation as to why your answer is, in fact, the correct one. It could be something as simple as a memory aid or a mnemonic that you use to remember this information. Or if it's more involved, if it's a, a better, a higher level question, you may give the logic as to why your answer is correct and the other distractors, although some people may think are plausible, are, in fact, incorrect. After listing your explanation, scrolling down further, this is where you can choose a, a list of topics that apply to this particular question. This is where you can tag the question so people can easily find questions that are of the same type. So there may be topics that have already been used that you want to select, and you may want to add other ones as well. If you add more than one tag, use a comma to separate it. After entering the possible tags for your question, scroll down to the bottom, and you have two options. If you still want to keep working on this question, you're not ready to post it yet, then you can say, save it as a draft. That way, it'll still be here when you come back to edit it further. If you're happy with it, though, click on Preview so you can see what the question will look like once it is posted. So there's the stem of the question, the possible alternatives, including the correct answer as well as other distractors. You have the explanation as to why, in fact, the answer you selected is correct. And you have the various tags that are associated with that question so that people can search for similar questions very easily. If you realize there's an error, if you want to uh, improve it a little bit, you can go back and make changes. Or you can say, no, this is good. Let's go ahead and post the question. Now you'll see that added to the list of questions you have. As people start to answer your questions, you'll see the number of answers. You'll see how often you, the answer you said was correct was, in fact, chosen. If this is a very low number compared to the number of answers, it may indicate that you have the wrong answer or it may indicate that this is something that a lot of people are confused about. 
you'll see how many people have, have requested help from you, any recent comments, the number of comments, as well as the difficulty and overall ratings for the questions. You can sort all your questions by any one of these columns by clicking on the appropriate sort button. And that's how you add questions to PeerWise.